Hi friends and new friends. You know a dashed instant send transaction is a thing of beauty. If you're used to Bitcoin transactions which take around 60 minutes to fully confirm, and you use a dash transaction that take, that's fully confirmed in less than a second, you can be forgiven for wondering if it was even real. And having instant transactions is very beneficial to many industries, but today we're just going to focus on the exchange industry. I actually had a video a while back that explained how traders can benefit from Dash's instant transactions if they were implemented on all exchanges. Now, one exchange that sees the potential with Dash Instant Send is Whitebit. They envision a future where all cryptocurrency exchanges accept Dash Instant Send. And this will lead to an ecosystem where traders can send back and forth between exchanges with ease, taking advantage of arbitrage and market trends. So today I'm joined by two gentlemen from Whitebit. One is Andrew Kovalenko and the other one is Andrew Godadze. These are two employees from Whitebit and they explained to me what Whitebit offers as a cryptocurrency exchange, uh, how they ran into Dash and how the connection with Dash came about, why they're so confident in Dash Instant Send, and what's in the future for Dash and, Inst and Whitebit's partnership. I'm Christopher Carruthers, also known as Tao of Satoshi, and you're watching Cash Alternative TV. So what is Cash Alternative TV other than that catchy jingle? Well, it's a show about cryptocurrency with a focus on Dash, which aims to be a digital cash for the world, an alternative to cash. Hence the name, Cash Alternative TV. So if you're into digital currency or want to learn more about Dash, or just want to hang out with me some more, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss an episode. Now on to today's interview with Andrew and Artem from Whitebit. Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I was happy to uh, have you guys on the show because uh, you've, intro you've introduced uh, Instant Send to your exchange. And I'm uh, very happy to see Instant Send being introduced to other exchanges because it's very uh, beneficial for traders and whatnot. So I'm glad to have you guys on the show to uh, give your comments about how it go how it went and uh, how you int got introduced to Dash in the first place. So yeah, it's very great to have you guys on the show. So we're going to start with uh, Artem. And yeah. uh, he, he, could you give us a quick, a quick uh, introduction of yourself and how you got into cryptocurrency? Yeah, so probably uh, I jumped into like cryptocurrency space like several years ago, and my journey started from uh, like uh, one like small startup, and basically it was like a mobile game on a blockchain basis with augmented reality, something like similar to like Monopoly, but in the re in the real world, yeah. And uh, with these projects, I just like started my cryptocurrency journey and started learning about like blockchain technology in general. And for the last like several years, probably uh, I'm working with like cryptocurrency exchanges uh, in like uh, as a probably like business development, strategy, marketing, and all these directions. So basically, here we are. <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting that you're talking about like video games and stuff. That's uh, one thing that I've seen on Twitter recently. And I, I've actually commented on it before in the past about uh, how cryptocurrency, like even like the, the cryptocurrency that I'm involved with, Dash, how it would be very beneficial to have as an in-game currency. Wouldn't you suspect that would be the case? Yeah, why not? Yes. Yeah. I mean, market probably is one of the biggest market for the moment. And uh, also like blockchain technology, you know, like it's really, uh, you know, like, really gives a really big potential for like gaming industry, you know, like to monetize it. So uh, you can probably uh, like obtain like different digital assets and, you know, like transfer them like between each other and also like monetize it. So it's really beneficial for all gamers around the world. So. Yeah, I think that it's something that we're always looking for a use case. Like so, some people criticize cryptocurrency as being like a, a solution without a problem. But I mean, there are there are some places where cryptocurrency would be very beneficial, and I think the gaming industry is one of them. So I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing what's going on with that in the future. Uh, Dash, in particular, had the new Dash platform that they're developing is uh, going to be able to run DApps on top of it, and uh, one of those DApps could be uh, video games at some point. So yeah, yeah it's it's pretty pretty exciting and uh, watching it go. So mm -hmm. welcome to the show, Artem. Uh, Andrew, so uh, they're the first person that I contacted when it came to uh, Whitebit, so I'm happy to have you on the show also. Uh, can you please give yourself a quick introduction and how you got into cryptocurrency? Yeah, well, my story probably won't be as uh, exciting as Artem's. <laughs> we had some, well, experience working with finances, but uh, I, I, I definitely have heard about cryptocurrencies. I had friends that were trading and uh, got me uh, reading some articles about Bitcoin and stuff, but 
I never regarded that at first as something that I would be involved in in terms of job. But then uh, a good friend of mine uh, introduced me to Whitebit and offered me a job there. So here I am. <laughs> Yeah, I was teasing you before uh, we went online. I was uh, saying that uh, you're a crypto noob kind of compared to the rest of us. <laughs> but, no. you know, welcome. You know, we need we need crypto noobs. We need everybody in the space we can get, you know, all the bright minds we can get to push us all forward, which is good. So welcome to the show. Thank you. So, Artem, uh, what is Whitebit? I, I hadn't heard of it before this uh, introduction and before this integration with Dash uh, Instant Send. So uh, can you give us an overview of what, what Whitebit is? I know it's a cryptocurrency exchange and uh, the things that you offer there. Yeah, so like probably it was founded like uh, in 2018 and we like uh, for like probably like several years in the current market. And uh, it's uh, like uh, one of the like uh, biggest like European crypto fiat exchanges for the moment. And probably we are like also growing fast. And uh Probably like our mission uh, is to bring the mass adoption, and that's why we, you know, like are really hard working on the like uh, fiat gateway side to, to, you know, like attract more more non crypto users and learn them, you know, like how to use the cryptocurrency, how to benefit from it, how to do the trading, and all this stuff. And uh, probably uh, that's like brief introduction uh, of the white bit. And uh, like uh, our exchange is uh, mostly focused uh, on the traders. So like uh, we are like going to build all the like different features and tools uh, so they can, you know, like have a, have a great pleasure to just uh, work with Whitebit and grow together. Okay. Uh, are you the actual owner of Whitebit or is there somebody else who's behind it? No, no, somebody else is also like behind it. So like uh, I also like one of the main guys behind this company. So. Oh, I see. All right. So uh, what, what was your target market at the beginning? Where are you guys located? Yeah, so like uh, uh, we have like all the license in Europe and also we are like uh, on the way to get the US uh, license like Coinbase has, but it's a kind of like long process. So it takes some time and uh, we have like, have like several offices, uh, like the main office in Ukraine where we have like our development department. We are like now around like 100 people uh, in our company. Uh, we have like different departments who are just taking care of like development, like mobile development, uh, exchange core, marketing team, sales team, uh, and also like support team. So probably covering all, all like sides uh, of the exchange. Okay. Yeah. And like our like uh, focus on the like uh, the most focused uh, yeah, on the European market. Because probably we are like here, and in these regions we don't really have you know like uh, top uh, exchanges or like big players uh, who can you know like provide uh, the uh, like uh, users with uh, this kind of opportunity in these regions. So because like for example, uh, I guess you know that uh, the most uh, the, the, the you know like a lot of competition in the Asia and also in the US but not so much uh, competitors in these regions. So we decided to cover these regions and uh, build a good relations with uh, all the key players around the world. So we won't compete with each other, but you know, like bring additional value to each other. So that's probably our plan. Okay, so I have a few questions about Whitebit. Uh, is it a, can you send fiat to Whitebit? Is it fiat uh, crypto or is it just crypto to crypto? Is it fiat to crypto and uh, we are like currently working uh, on like different like fiat gateways to, and in the next several months we will add more like fiat uh, pairs and uh, so all our users can easily you know like uh, deposit in wise draw like in different currencies uh, like starting using their like uh, with a mastercard or like uh, any like local service providers because we are like uh, connecting different service providers so everyone can you know like use it easily use it okay do you uh, offer margin trading or no and margin trading probably will come like in the next several months as yeah. well. Yeah, it will be like also like one of the main like products uh, of the exchange, and we have like you know like uh, building or already build the whole roadmap of its development and like marketing push. Okay, so did you have anything to add to that, Andrew? Uh, yeah. So regarding fiat, uh, we currently have euro, United States dollar, and some local currencies like Russian ruble. Ukrainian Crimea. Yeah. Uh, margin trading, from what I know, it is in the uh, late development, let's say. Uh, I think it's going to be live in the next several 
probably a couple of months or several couple of weeks. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I like to uh, say quickly before later on, I'm going to give my full feedback, but I, I, I like the looks of your website. I think it looks good and it's uh, pretty intuitive to use. So that's uh, my initial feedback. So uh, Artem, uh, what, what things are you guys planning to do at Whitebit in the future? So like uh, uh, in the future, uh, as, as we like uh, talked earlier, we will like launch the margin trading. We will also like probably launch like future and options. Okay. And probably we, you know, like we are like uh, just uh, looking at the market and is it just like changing like uh, every month, probably we just need to be really flexible. So that's why we just like have like a, a kind of like a team who just like taking an eye uh, on the analytics and all this stuff. So we just like constantly getting a feedback from them and building our exchange according to the like uh, market trends. So uh, like uh, we already like built like uh, stop limits uh, and stop orders on our exchange. And it's just like one of the like main features for the traders and uh, like margin trading probably will be like next step. So that's uh, what I can share for the moment. And uh, because it's like just uh, next uh, several months is probably, you know, like uh, everything will be done like in the next several months and what will be like done uh, on the later stage, I will just share like after. Perfect. Yeah, we could have you on the show later to uh, discuss any future uh, things you guys do. So, you know, yeah. when you enter, when you join Dash Nation and you come into a partnership with Dash, I know for, for me protect particularly, you're part of a family. So you're, you're now a part of the Dash family. We're going to talk about that in this next segment. Yeah. Uh, we can Awesome. So, Andrew, uh, how did you guys at Whitebit find out about Dash and uh, Dash's instant send potential? Yeah, I, I wouldn't say that we found out about Dash because it was something that we <laughs> always knew, always, always, were always aware about. But uh, in the late uh, 2019, yeah, towards the end of the year, we uh, planned a large uh, wave of marketing activities and we were aiming at uh, getting some large projects to uh, partner with us and do some integrations together that could be interesting to users and that could be mutually beneficial. Yeah. And well, definitely Dash was on the list and uh, we got in touch with the team and they were pretty open and uh, enthusiastic, let's say about that. And well, that is something that we like and uh, that is how this cooperation was launched. And uh, well, it is just the first step, uh, the instant science integration. There will be more to come. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll talk about that later for sure. Um, so it was you that approached the Dash team uh, to to in introduce yeah. Instant Send. Okay, all right. Well, we, we didn't approach them to integrate Instant Send Instant Send directly. It was like just an offer to let's uh, jump on the call and find out how we can work together. Yeah, and uh, the proposal from the Dash team was to uh, why don't you guys integrate Instant Send? Uh, to set up this partnership, yeah, to, to lay the groundwork for that, let's say. So we gladly went on to that. Yeah, so like it's basically like our first step uh, of our like collaboration yeah. with Dash. And like we strongly believe that uh, like every exchange, uh, if they wanted, you know, like to develop their product, they need to have like a strong communication with each of the like uh, main like coins or tokens they, that listed like on the exchange. So only like in this case, they can, you know, like build the growth and uh, just push it like to the market and bring this mass adoption and, you know, like just to help each other. Because in other way, it just like doesn't make sense probably. Yeah, because uh, like being out of touch with uh, major coins and uh, projects, uh, it uh, would mean that an exchange uh, would not hear all the, let's say, pains or needs uh, that uh, real traders have, yeah? And so uh, by having such several major strong corporations like we have with Dash, we think that we could, uh, yeah, bring that mass adoption that Artem was talking about. Yeah, probably all the major coins uh, for us, it's a kind of like a bridge of the yeah. communication with the like end users. Because uh, they will, they like constantly giving us like you know like the feedback and the experience how to uh, how how they like uh, work with exchanges and so on and so forth. So basically, you know, like it's our eyes and hands in this market. <laughs> right on. So as a quick sidebar, have have you either of you guys used Dash in your personal lives? Like I, I know that in Ukraine, there's a pl few places where you can actually use Dash to buy things. In our, in our city, actually, where we are based, yeah, there is a uh, ATM machine. I think. Mm -hmm. I have. Yeah, Use it like directly, but uh, I have uh, some 
I don't know, a couple of dash on my Whitebit account. So I, I, I only tried it out when we integrated Instant Send, uh, to be honest, yeah, but uh, after that, yeah, it is a, I don't know, cool, cool coin to trade and to have, especially in the latest, uh, in the late couple of weeks where we saw a yeah. raise in the price, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's always a good thing to see. But <laughs> I guess not if you're trying to get into it, but it's good if you already have it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, if you guys try out the, the people that are viewing the show, if you try Dash when you, after you've tried a, a Bitcoin transaction, is the differences between like night and day, you know? You're, you're trying to Dash, it goes instantly. With Bitcoin, you have to wait for so long to get it uh, settled. So I recommend downloading a wallet and trying it out. Uh, these gentlemen have introduced it on their, in their website, which is really good. So uh, tell us a little bit, Andrew, about the experience, the actual experience of uh, integrating Instant Send onto your exchange. Was it pretty seamless? Did it take a while to test it out? How was it? Well, uh, I, I talked to, to our developers in order to find out yeah, more about that, how it was uh, as an on-hand experience, yeah? how, uh, how it was for them, because they were the men on, in the, on the front, the men and women. Yeah? And well, they uh, really said that uh, it didn't take a lot of time. Uh, they said that, that they were pleased to uh, to work on that because it is a uh, high tech solution, yeah, really uh, high quality and high tech. Uh, and if we take a look at the market right now, the speed and the security uh, are the main, let's say, needs of the market and uh, and are the main concerns. And uh, instant send is something that delivers on both of those needs. That is why we. Uh, we're really glad to to integrate that, and uh, although the market is still in the like initial, uh, even not a low, the market is still in this uh, in its initial phase. Let's say yeah, and uh, it is mostly speculative even still yeah, uh, yeah. and it is such technical solutions like uh, instant send that uh, can help bring it to the next stage and to form it and to lay the groundwork for something that is more uh, stable let's say so how long do you think the process took from start to finish from you guys uh, uh, comment like trying to get it integrated to full integration and actually have it working on the site oh yeah i, I think uh, i think it took a couple of days uh and uh, a couple of days wow. no, i mean a couple of days and they this wasn't like the only task that the developer had they had several tasks uh integration of instance and was one of them and uh, so we weren't rushing with that uh that is why yeah it, let's say a couple of evenings uh in total maybe like three to four to five hours i think yeah because it's just like pretty easy yeah and it took like uh the whole integration you know like and put all the things uh uh together just take us like a couple of days because like we have you know like a, a queue of like different tokens to be integrated and like some different tasks uh to our development department, so yeah. that's why it took a bit more time. But uh, it's really easy to integrate. So yeah, know. because the instant I don't know if people that are aware of this that are watching the show, but the instant deposits and instant withdrawals they're actually uh, enabled by default on the Dash network. So there's not much that exchanges have to do to uh, to implement it. I wouldn't think. Yeah. Like I'm not a developer, so I don't know for sure. But to me, it seems like if it's actually implemented by default on the network, all you would have to do is follow those rules, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's true, yeah. yeah, so there's really no ex uh, excuse for exchanges out there that are not doing this. There's no reason for you not to do it. So get your butts in gear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm going to talk about my experience. Uh, the first time I used Whitebit, yeah. I, I had an interview. You can see it. I'm going to link it uh, up below, up, up on top right now. Uh, this is a, a first time I've been using Whitebit, and I'm not a really big trader, so I made a mistake. Uh, when I when I first uh, you know I first deposited Dash. It, it worked fine, and, but I thought that I wasn't able to trade it. Yeah. I, didn't know, I, did, I didn't know that I had to actually transfer it manually to my trading balance. So anybody who's watching this and may have seen the other one and didn't, didn't see my correction, yeah, that was my fault. The white bit integration is working fine. Dash Instant Send works fine. But I had the problem of not transferring it to my trading balance. So oh. I, could have, I could have traded it within like 30 seconds of depositing. So yeah. that's what we're looking for. After after your uh, video of the integration, we actually found out that this is something that is worth telling users that you should do that in order to trade. Yeah, so thanks for that as well. Uh, to be like uh, uh, to give you a bit more insight into what uh, what we are doing. Yeah, we we have uh, 
finished in the last year the work on the uh, technical core, let's say on the uh, machine engine and all, all of those uh, trading instruments, uh, like different kinds of orders, API. Uh, and now we are going to focus in the coming weeks and months. Uh, our updates are going to be concentrated uh, primarily on UX and UI. Yeah? So we have all the necessary functions. Now we want uh, to make it as convenient for users to uh, experience as possible. Okay. Yeah. Probably, you know, like uh, this, like uh, technical issues with like securities and you know, so on and so forth. It takes a lot, a lot of time yeah, to, yeah. you know, like build everything in the proper way. And probably this kind of like uh, the main point, uh, the main pains of the market. Yeah. So we decided to start our like roadmap, to, to, you know, like to solve these issues. And afterwards, uh, we can just easily, you know, like update with the like UX and UI and it doesn't take uh, much time for us. We just need to be sure that everything works really properly and all the funds are, you know, like fully secured for the like end customer. Mm -hmm. for the, for yeah, because we, we've seen a lot of exit scams in the industry. Like uh, yeah. we've, we've seen, uh, you know, uh, Mount Gox, we've seen uh, a paper, I don't know, what, what was that called, uh, Mint Pal. And yeah. we saw Cripsy, we saw so many instances of this. So like, yeah, when you're holding people's funds, you definitely have to make sure that you're secure and the, the people behind it are, are honorable, right? And they're, they're, not, yeah. they're not, they're not going to take off with your funds. And so we can come up with some side of some sort of decentralized exchange where you don't have to trust anyone. This is, <laughs> this is, this is what we're going to have to do. So yeah, I appreciate you guys uh, coming on the show and uh, talking about Whitebit. Uh, so can you tell me if Dash Instant Send is available both for withdrawals and deposits? Like I know it's available for deposits, but I didn't do the KYC to find out the experience on withdrawals. Yeah, sure. It's available for it. So you, you, yeah. can, you, you can easily check it out like because you already deposited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so but they, I don't want to do the KYC at this time. I, I might do it in a, at a later date. <laughs> yeah, by the way, uh, Literally the next day after your integration, we launched, uh, uh, we, we made a release where we uh, remade the balances page, so it is a bit more, much more, I would say, uh, easy to use and you know, let's say user friendly. Yeah, so you can check that out as well. <laughs> oh, okay, perfect. Yeah, that's good for my viewers to know. Uh, yeah. So, how how do you feel that having the ability to do instant withdrawals and instant deposits between exchanges, like not just you, but like all exchanges, to accept Dash Instant Send? How do you feel that that would create a positive environment for traders? And how, how do you feel that they would like that? They would like that, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, yeah, as, as I mentioned before, yeah, speed and security, two of the most, uh, let's say, uh, important points for traders. Yeah, and uh, Instant Send provides both of them. If, if, there, if there ever will be, and I think there will, uh, a network of exchanges that are all using Instant Send, that would be a great bonus for traders, a great uh, way. It would open way, many ways to arbitrage and to... Oh, yeah, like to, to like also like share like several insights uh, with you. Uh, Besides like Whitebit, uh, I'm personally also like have a like, uh, side project uh, that calls like chain adoption. And uh, like the mission uh, of this uh, project is, uh, you know, like to provide uh, with like different <clears throat> services to like blockchain projects and help them, you know, like to penetrate this market, to start their journey and to fully expand on it and, you know, like get a success. And uh, also like one of the missions is, uh, as far as you know, like uh, there are too many exchanges on the current market and like the most part of them are probably not so good. And, you know, like, they, like there, there are a lot of scammers. There are a lot of like some exchanges without like any liquidity, without users and so on and so forth. Yeah. And this also like kind of like one of the pain in the current market. So like mission of chain adoption is, uh, you know, like to connect uh, uh, only like the key players in the market. And uh, so we can, you know, like uh, avoid all these like scammers and uh, just empty exchanges. And uh, with, with this company, I, I believe I, I will build like these uh, relations between exchanges uh, and also we will provide all the major players with the best terms to grow together. Because uh, uh, as Andrew like said before, the market was like really speculative, yeah, till uh, like still now. And uh, we need to build a kind of like a system with the rules, with like regulations and so on and so forth. So on the after it, we can build like business and build like really, you know, like uh, uh, good, uh, techno uh, good uh, solutions uh, for like uh, our lives and uh, for end customers. 
So that's probably like probably our first step. Okay, I want to talk a little bit about uh, securities uh, and the exchanges. So uh, this is a kind of a topic, a hot topic as well. Uh, yeah. Nobody knows what the uh, SEC is going to call each individual cryptocurrency. You know, like uh, is that something that your exchange is wary of as uh, trading securities, or do you guys uh, you're pretty open to whatever? Yeah. So, like, what about trading securities? Uh, we like need to build like the whole uh, legal part on it. Because like for the moment we are not ready to you know like allow uh, like our users to trade securities because it's you know like it's a kind of like another like big part uh, of the exchange. But like in the like nearest future, probably we are also like considering to like jump into this direction of the market as well. But uh, a bit later, not not like really like in the next several months. <laughs> are you guys aware that uh, Dash recently received the highest rating from the Crypto Rating Council? Uh, it's a uh, Bitcoin received a one. That's the highest rating you can get. And uh, Dash has recently been added, and it also received a, a highest score of one. So, so you, not... you guys were aware of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that, that, that that's good. Like any ex any uh, exchanges out there that might have been wary of accepting Dash because they don't want to trade securities. Uh, this this is very good news for uh, for them if they want to integrate Dash. Yeah. And good news for Dash Nation, right? Like because it's I, I, having options is great. You know, like I, I'm I'm great. To, I'm happy to use your exchange. And then having having other places to trade Dash is great. So, build like you say, building the ecosystem of people sure. that accept Dash and use Instant Send. That's that's the goal right now. So, I'm very happy to have you guys as a part of the team. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> like what? <laughs> so, what what would you recommend it to other exchanges? The process of uh, dealing with Dash, uh, our representatives, and uh, integrating uh, Dash Instant Send on your exchange. Yeah, I believe uh, I would recommend it, but like not to everyone. So taking into account that I've uh, told you earlier uh, about like some like a kind of like exchange alliance and these relations that I wanted to build like among these exchanges, probably I would recommend to them so we can you know like build a, a good liquidity uh, and also you know like help to grow like each other like all together. So that's a kind of like one of the plans. So perfect. I couldn't I couldn't have said it any better myself. Well, well, I appreciate and help. <laughs> So what, what what are you guys into cryptocurrency for? This is the one thing I want to leave with uh, at the end of the interview because uh, a lot of people are in it just to make a buck and other people are in it to change the world. So how would each of you uh, say your motivations are for being into cryptocurrency? Well, I'm probably the one uh, of the latter. Yeah, I working here, I do have this feeling that I can't really always explain, but the feeling that uh, I'm... Uh, doing something, I'm, I'm making the future. I'm helping create the future. Yeah, this is. It may sound uh, like strange. Yeah, but uh, that, that is something that too ambitious. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it is the feeling that I have. Okay. Yeah. How about you, Ida? Yeah. So probably they uh, like said before. Like the main mission is to bring the mass adoption, and uh, I, I personally really like this like cryptocurrency and blockchain space. Because it has really big potential, and uh, this uh, like market is only like on the early stages. So I believe we can build, you know, like a really a really great market with the billions uh, of dollars there, like and you know, like really uh, useful technology solutions. And uh, I believe we just need, you know, like just to cooperate and work together, not like separately, but together. And uh, only in this way we can, you know, like reach out our goals. Okay, this has been a great interview. Uh, happy to have you guys on the show. Do you have uh, any uh, last comments you'd like to uh, say to my viewers before we let you go? Well, just to uh, <laughs> just to mention again that uh, for all the Dash fans that are watching this, yeah, uh, there is much more to come. Follow the news. Uh, we are currently looking into opening perhaps some fiat pairs into Latin America for the Dash users because because we know about all the interest that Dash has generated there. And uh, Whitebit itself as an exchange has a lot to offer and will have a lot to offer in the nearest future, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so like warmly welcome and uh, we'll be happy to see all you like uh, on our exchange and more. Yeah. All right, this has been the CATV Whitebit interview with uh, Artem and Andrew from Whitebit. Thanks very much for coming on the show, guys. I wish you the best of luck in the future. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks thank you. Us. Cheers. 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 So that was my interview with Andrew and Artem from Whitebit. If you're another crypto exchange looking at this, please uh, look into Dash Instant Send and uh, try to implement it to your exchange. Your traders will thank you for it.
Well, that's it for me today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and click the bell if you want to see more from me in Cash Alternative TV episodes. Until next time, remember, Dash is a better money for a better future. And that future is getting closer every day. Bye for now.